Five weeks ago, Courtney and I started an eBay store from scratch. Our goal is to make $450 profit per week so Courtney can quit her part-time job as a barista. Now guys, if you missed the first five episodes of the series, I'm gonna link it in the description below and I recommend that you go and check it out before you tune into this one. We're gonna make this a pretty big episode today, guys. We're gonna go out and do some thrifting, check in on Courtney's sales figures as we always do, but I actually listened to the comments and a lot of you guys said that you wanted to hear from Courtney's perspective of starting an eBay store from scratch. So we sat her down, we asked her a few questions and the answers that she gave were pretty interesting. So stick around for that. And I also want to do a bit of a giveaway as well, guys, just to say thanks for what has been a really fun series to bring to you guys. So, huge episode. Let's see how Courtney's doing. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the last and final episode. Before, it's so sad. Yeah. The last one. Yeah. It's like week, no, six or five. Week five. We've been doing this for five weeks. It's not like you're quitting though, it's just that you're not on camera, like helping people with their store. Yeah, All right, let's look at these numbers. So Courtney's had a pretty good week of selling on eBay. She did $168 worth of sales and it was a total of six sales that came through for her. So that works out to an average sale price of $28, which is a whole lot more than what it has been in the past. Really interestingly enough, this week, she did 92% of her sales via promoting her listings at just a 3% ad rate. So that just goes to show how important promoting your listings are. If we have a look at everything from a five-week perspective, Courtney's done $599.50 in total sales volume, 31 sales in 35 days, and her average sale price sits at almost $20. Uh, definitely books is Courtney's favorite selling category. She's got $270 worth of book sales to her name, and she's also doing the DVDs at $256. So a pretty decent week for Courtney. We're gonna run through two of her best sales out of this week, and the first one was something that we just picked up last week. So yes, yeah, so the first one is the Lee Child books that we picked up. There was like the 10 bundle in that for $20 I paid, um, sold for $79.95 on a best offer I think he sent through. Um, it cost me $16.84 to ship it and it was about $10.80 in eBay fees. So $52.30 profit. $52.30 profit. One, that's amazing. But two, so we were able to turn it around in like five or six days. So when I saw it in the thrift store, Lee Child, I've personally sold it well before. And I think that really helps things when you've had that past experience in selling certain items. Um, I wasn't surprised to see it come through and maybe if we held out for a few more dollars, we could have got a higher price as well, but still a very, very cool sale. Um, and then the other one. Was the the Broncos hat. Yeah, again, we got that one last week as well. Yeah, um, paid $3 for it, sold it on another best offer. I had it listed for 27. He sent through an offer of 22 and I was like, <laughs> ruthless, ruthless on the best offers. Um, and it was six eighty to ship it, and three dollars forty seven in eBay fees, so thirteen seventy four. Thirteen seventy four on a hat, and I'm talking about hats all the time when I'm out in the thrift stores. It's a category that I'm always checking. Sell through rate again, just like the Lee Child books was just a couple of days. Also, those Lee Child books, that was the quickest turnaround. They listed in the morning, and it sold that night. It wasn't Same even, day. It wasn't even twenty four hours. Same day sale. Yeah. There you go. It's underpriced, but. Ooh. Look, still stoked. Yeah, you could have maybe got 100 even. Yeah. Well, uh, I think just slightly dropping the price slightly just so you can get a sale is a good thing. Yeah. Um, let's go thrifting. I don't know what this is, but I like the look of it. Fancy seeing the bookworm in the book section. What do you got there? Star Wars. There for it. Fifteen plus ten. Hmm. Oh, sorry, that's saying correct. It's four dollars. Four dollars. And there's only one copy. So you're gonna leave it. Yeah. I saw this. This is an Aussie. That would have been. I don't know what jersey it is. I don't know what sport it is. Looks like netball. Yeah, it could be. Or hockey or something, but it's it's an Aussie jersey, which is. Oh, you'd have to you have to do some research on um, maybe like Google Lens or something to work out exactly what sport. These are good shoes. Gel Cumulus 18, so a bit worn. Probably too worn. Um, cricket shoes. 
not that great. This is a good hat. $4.50 Brisbane Lions visor. I didn't know who the Brisbane Broncos hat was. I know. Courtney, Courtney messaged me last week with that $24 hat that sold. And she was like, I, it didn't have the name. It just had the uh, the um, the logo. Um, but $4.50. You could probably go for about maybe 25 30 on that. Yeah, so there's that. I mean, there's not a lot of sales. New era. Let's just say $24.95. Yep. How much do you reckon shipping? Uh, seven, well, what's your Nine. small? $9. Five. Oh, sorry. Uh, $7. Spend $30. five, make seven. Mm. Your call, Chief. <laughs> Spend five, make seven. One. Okay, but I'm just thinking it wouldn't be much to store that, and I feel like that would sell faster. No. Yeah, well, it's authentic. Just gonna leave it. <laughs> As am I. Yeah. That's good. You know how many people don't leave those sorts of things, and they just go, "I'm just gonna take it." No. Sometimes you got to say no. What's that set? It looks good couple over there. Oh, that's R.L. Stein too. Yeah. So there's actually Fear Street in there. I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? Oh, executive decision. It's just committing. So we've just found this one. Stories for boys who dare to be different. Sold it a few times. And then we're talking around about $30, which is pretty cool. A um, few others as well. We've got Star of Del Toro. There's a book one and two there. Uh, two Moons. We've got the Babysitter's Club as well. That one's only seven. It's a full set of seven as well. And there were comps around, what, 50? Um, yeah, that was brand new though. Brand new, so maybe yeah. maybe 40. Yeah. So that's worth getting. You might be able to get that into a small satchel. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Even in a medium, do you reckon it's worth it? Have to e-profit it. Just found this, which I absolutely love. The Dallas Mavericks. Crazy embroidery on it as well on the side. Mitchell and Ness too. Really good brand, Mitchell and Ness. These hardwood classic hats. Um, should go well. Don't know how much it is, but I love having found it. Guys, I just found this. This one's got a $4 price tag on it there. Um, the Gillaroos. Now, the Gillaroos is the rugby league, um, the Australian women's rugby league team, and it's a player issue number 18, so that should go for quite a few dollars. I'm going to shoot for maybe 40 bucks. Coming up a $4 purchase, that's pretty good. Something to look out for. So I've just found these, a uh, pair of Gel Asics Kayano 22s, guys. Now, if you watch the channel, you'll know how much I love these shoes. Um, unfortunately, they're just a size US 4 which is a bit annoying because the small sizes don't typically go as well. Um, no inner sole either there. But the, the, the condition though is really, really good. And the price tag's only $9.50. So given the quality and condition, I'm gonna go ahead and grab those. Uh, and then I found these as well, a couple of DVDs. We've got Legend of the Seeker, the second and final season. That one's only $3. Uh, it goes into about 15. And then this one, really good show. There's two seasons of this show, I believe. Um, this one obviously being season two goes for about 20. Um, so yeah, a couple of good little items there, plus the backpack that's on my back right now. Um, bit of good, okay-ish. Kind of an okay run. You've got a couple of books there too. Yeah. And they were about 20 each, weren't they? Yeah. Um, so The Secret, that's obviously a pretty popular book. And then this one, it was just doing some comp research to work out that that was actually worth about 20 as well. Yeah. $2 each, not too bad. All right, guys, so a pretty tough day in the thrift store, but uh, it's actually not the end of the world for Courtney because she's got a few listings that we're able to pick up last Thursday. Um, it was a big private pick that I did on the channel. The video is actually already up on my YouTube page, so you can go and check it out. Uh, but Courtney's taken away $260 worth, and there's quite a lot here that she hasn't yet taken home. So uh, considering it is the last episode of the series, I thought I'd show you some of this stuff that Courtney's going to be listing up over the next two to three weeks. Courtney was able to get her hands on this for basically what you're seeing here, about $130. There's some really good series in here like Dragon Ball GT. Uh, there's a lot of Grey's Anatomy, which will be an awesome bundle. Um, this Voltron book, I think, was going for about $30 to $40. Uh, an annual 1987, so that was pretty sweet. Um, and then a bunch of um, different box sets here. We've got a really cool box set of uh, Star Wars Trilogy on VHS. 
um, American Dad, which I think she got for about $5. And then Entourage and Scrubs, which are a little less in value, but they're still pretty good. Um, so yeah, Courtney's going to list this up at three a day over the next couple of weeks. Some really good inventory, especially when you're having some quiet days in the thrift. All right, guys, for this part of the video, I brought Courtney in because I've heard a lot of you guys say in the comments over the last few weeks that we haven't heard enough from Courtney during this series about how she's actually finding the process of starting from scratch. It's been a lot of me talking. Um, so I thought I'd get Courtney in. Courtney's got three lessons, three takeaways from the last five weeks of doing this series. And um, that's some pretty good ones. What was your first one? First one would be the biggest one, I feel like for me, was the accountability side of it. Uh -huh. So because we we're doing the series and every Wednesday we would film for this mm -hmm. um, and also having my goal of doing three listings a day, Matt would check in regularly to make sure I was on top of that yeah. weekly and daily. We just knew there was a video coming up. Yeah. We had to film. We were like, well, how's the sales going? I yeah. want to tell these people that are watching that we're getting a bunch of good sales. Yeah. So yeah, accountability. accountability. It, it's, it's A lot of people don't get that accountability. And I think so. it's very it's very important. If you can, like, even if they don't understand eBay, if you just tell them, like, I'm trying to do this. This is how many listings I'm doing today. Once a week, check in with me. Friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone. Um, what else you got? Uh, the actual setup set up of the business. So um, we did that in obviously day one of this week one of this series. Um, if you want to go watch that if you haven't already, but it's actually crucial before you even begin to think of thrifting and what you want to sell is the actual setup of the business. It's quite easy, but it's like step by step we've shown mm. how you can do it. Of the six videos in this series, episode one, and maybe a bit of episode two is the most important. Yeah. From there, we get pretty robotic and repetitious because that's what eBay is. Yeah. But those first two episodes, Courtney would have, wouldn't have known what to do if I said to her, go out and start an eBay business. So, All I wanted was white cardboard. Yeah, yeah, white cardboard, that was it. But there's a lot of other stuff that goes along with it. Yeah. So yeah, um, the setup, super important. Mm -hmm. And number three, what do you got? Um, learning to say no. Yeah, learning to say no with, um, what you're buying um, with the e-profit app. So it's really important to use that because it's, if you don't know what you're doing and you go into a thrift shop, you might think a lot of it has a lot of profit, but once you do the research into how much it sells for and then the e-profit app of seeing how much with fees and shipping, mm. there's quite a lot that you're not really gonna make much from. You say no to a heap. You say no. And yeah. these videos show highlight reels of the stuff that we've actually found yeah. and we're taking away, but there's so much stuff that oh we don't God. film. The amount of stops and yeah. hours, yeah. A lot of hours, a lot of stops, a lot of hunting, a lot of scanning up, e-profiting, and then we show you guys the best of the best. Mm -hmm. So make sure you get that app if you're just starting out. Um, set up your business first and then go out thrifting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that, that's been pretty crucial as well. Say no to a lot more than you say yes to. Yeah. Um, the results, how do you think you went with $600 odd worth of revenue out of you know five weeks of starting out? Yeah, good. It's kind of like what I was expecting. So I'm not like absolutely not disappointed. Um, obviously great if you can do more than you're expecting, but with working with Matt and seeing his eBay store and how that runs and that revenue, like I know that gives me motivation to keep going. So um, brings yeah. back to the accountability. Literally. Yeah, you've got me here saying, hey, do this, do this, and it'll work for you. Yeah. Um, motivates you to keep kind of persisting. And I think eventually, Courtney will go to five listings a day. Right now, she's been doing three listings a day. But in order to hit that goal, not that the goal of $450 was really the aim in this series. It's a yeah. long-term goal. Yeah. But we never said we were going to get there in, in six weeks. Mm -hmm. So... Well, I didn't really... Like, I didn't expect to get there in six weeks. Obviously, it would have been great. But I knew with three listings going in a day, it wasn't... Like we're not going to get to that goal within six weeks. And a lot of people said as well to just go and bulk list a hundred items to begin with, give your store a bit of size and let the sales obviously naturally start to come in. But I think it's more about setting up processes and practices that Courtney can do for the next 12 months. And that's why we said, let's just keep it at three. Let's mm -hmm. just put it up every day, 21 a week. Yeah. And Courtney's really done really well over the five weeks to be able to hold that consistency. Yeah. Um, and I think that's put you in a pretty good position for, for the next couple of months. Yeah. Uh, and speaking of the last couple of months, we're going to be doing months monthly updates. So we're going to go back to my um, regular videos on my YouTube channel that you would have normally watched in the months past. Um, but we're going to every so often just update Courtney's figures, show some cool finds, show some cool sales. So you guys will continue to see uh, how Courtney's store does operate until she does eventually hit that goal uh, of $450. 
We're also going to do a giveaway as well as a bit of a thank you to round out this uh, six part series of Courtney starting from scratch. And it's going to be a mentoring hour. So it's going to be a live link up Zoom call between Courtney and I and yourself if you're the lucky winner. Um, all you have to do is use the code word Winnie. Uh, the little Cocker Spaniel Winnie um, that we've got. She's an absolute little legend, so she could be the code word. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, uh, and you'll be in the draw to win that uh, one hour mentoring session. But um, yeah, hopefully we can get you guys onto the right foot just as we've, as we've done with Courtney here. And thanks for the comments and support. It's been good. There's been a lot. Yeah. Been a lot of I'm support. I'm very surprised. <laughs> the viewership has gone through the roof. Shocked, really. I think it's because Courtney's in thumbnails. I think that's what it's doing. <laughs> Thumbnails at works. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, thank you very much, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed Courtney's little update there. She's doing really well. It's been fun to mentor her. I've never really mentored somebody um, live like that every single week, so that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, appreciate you tuning in. To make it easy for you guys, we put the first episode here on the screen. Um, thanks for all your support and check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, subscribe.